Okay, so let's try let's try this um, problem. So we'll just draw the Lewis structure of xenon uh, difluoride. Okay. So how do we do this? First thing we want to do is well figure out which one of these atoms is going to be the central atom. Which which one do you think? Yeah. Xenon, yeah. right? Why? Just period three and well, pardon me, below, right? Okay. So. Fluorine is not period three, so it's got to be one of the peripheral atoms. So the first thing we're going to do is draw uh, the Lewis structure of the particular atoms. Okay, so hopefully you guys see we need one electron to bond to fluorine here, and one electron to bond to fluorine here, okay? So let's rearrange our lone pairs around here. I know this is the normal distribution, but let's rearrange them to where we only have one here and one here, like it's expanded its valence, okay? So I'm gonna erase those. I'm gonna put one lone pair there, one lone pair there. So remember, xenon has to have eight, right? So I'm gonna put one there and one there, like they move to different orbitals, okay? So now what happens, we do our fish hooks there, and we do our fish hooks there, okay? Is everybody okay with what I've done so far? Wonderful. So, and remember, we're just doing the Lewis structure here. I know you guys know about Vesper, but, So that would be the Lewis structure of this molecule. Okay, notice that xenon has expanded its valence. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Right? Electrons around xenon. Okay, so that's bigger than eight, so it's expanded its valence. Okay. Um, so that's the Lewis structure. Um, if you wanted to confirm the um, uh, formal charges of these things, right? We could do that. So the formal charge of xenon is going to be what? 8 minus 1 half of what? The bonding electron, so 2, 4, right? Minus the non-bonding electrons, 2, 4, 6, right? So we do that. So what do we get? 8 minus the 4 divided by 2 is 2, minus 6, right? Okay? So 8 minus 2 minus 6 is 8 minus 8, or 0. Okay, so formal charge of xenon is 0. And hopefully you guys can just tell that fluorine, when it has only one bond, its formal charge is 0. Okay. Are there any questions on that one? Do <laughs> you like that? <laughs> do you guys want to do anything else with this one? Any questions? Okay, wonderful. So that's a nice expanded valence on that.